Today is World AIDS Day, and unfortunately, southern states, including ours, are considered ground zero for new infections. The federal government estimates nearly 37,000 people are living with HIV or AIDS in North Carolina. I want to introduce you to a local man who's working to change that and is living proof of a better tomorrow. I'm living with HIV, and HIV does not define who I am. It is just a part of my total being. HIV has been a part of who Art Jackson is for the past 27 years when he first learned of his status while living in New York City. I, I contemplated, you know, jumping in front of a cab, jumping, you know, I, I was like, you know, because of the images, the wasting, all of those things that happened with people who were positive, I didn't want to go out like that. I didn't know how I was going to explain it to my family. That fear was short-lived. It was Art's family that saved him. I got on the bus, and I made it to my mom. And I told her, and, you know, I'm like, you know, I'm crying. I'm like, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. And she, she held me, and she was like, she let me cry, and she let me cry. For hours, Alice Jackson held her son until finally her words broke through, reminding Art of all that she had taught him. And I'm like... Well, I guess I'm going to have to live. She's like, that's right. Sometimes it's going to be a second at a time. Sometimes it's going to be a minute at a time. Sometimes it's going to be where you don't think you're going to be able to make it. But as long as you give him breath, you have to live. Now, what are you going to do with your life? That's going to be the, the question. It was answering that question that eventually led Art to Fayetteville, where his work as a community mobilizer for the AIDS Healthcare Foundation has brought him both local and national recognition. It saddens me today that, you know, HIV is decimating African-American youth in 13 to 29. We're losing about 64% of all new infections are African-Americans. Every nine minutes, somebody learns they are HIV positive. Looking ahead to next year's World AIDS Day, Art wants to flip that statistic. Yeah, I wanted every nine minutes that somebody's being educated on how not to become HIV positive. If we could have that stat in there, I think that would be awesome. And according to Art, education is key, not just learning about your status, but learning how to prevent contracting the virus. We have links to that information, plus groups that can help both those infected with and affected by HIV. Just go to WNCN.com and look for this story. And